everyone, I'm Mind. Welcome to the 67th episode of the Woke Crew Podcast. I'm here, as always, with my co-host, Matthew. We're here to talk about the Lego. So, not much news this week, but, you know, there's a few things to talk about, and we're just gonna, we're gonna have a good time, you know? Yeah, I do know. Uh, <laughs> we had a little... Before we get started, though, real quick shout out to all the YouTube members, help support the channel, and a very special thank you to Pyro Ripper Tier and Above, who are Tumbleweed, Garfield, and Suntan. Thank you very much. Uh, if you, the viewer, want to become a YouTube member, go click the join button next to the subscribe button. If you, the YouTube viewer, don't want to become a YouTube member, don't do that. True. That's very true. You don't have to, but if you want to, I appreciate it. Yep, and we pay you if you do. Nope, other way around. You pay me if you do. Oh. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, uh, do we want to just start with this week's LEGO news? Sure. So the biggest and coolest thing is I completely like overlooked this when this was revealed, but I was looking at it like right before the podcast. I'm like, dang, this is kind of awesome. Is this new Lego art set called Lego Art Project Create Together? Yeah. So if I'm being honest, I'm not excited for it, but I didn't know that you were. So tell me, tell me, tell me. What okay. So and when I first saw it, I wasn't excited for it, which is why I didn't care. But I think it was Ash and Flash posted on Twitter. Let me see if I can pull up his tweet. An example of like more things you could do with the set <laughs> and it was just like whoa that's that's actually really cool here what was the example um maybe it wasn't ash who what it was is ash and flash made a video talking about this set and apparently there's a tool that translates images into like how you could build it out of lego and with the pieces you get in this set you could use that tool to make your own stuff, and he provided an example of some of this stuff. Okay. And it looks really, really cool. Are you able to show me? Yeah, let me send you, or I guess, I don't know why I'm on this random article I found. I can just show you his video. He did his profile picture, he did the Lego logo, the Spider-Man PS4, Creeper, Lego Batman. Like, there's, it's really cool, like, the potential of this. Did you send it to me? Yep. Yeah. In the Skype chat, yeah. Okay. And the potential of it is very, very cool, and it makes me kind of really want this. I want to see it. Oh, whoa. This is yeah. just the pieces in the set? Yeah. Like, I think, I built, I could, correct, someone in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the set comes with enough of each color to cover the entire thing in that color. Oh, wow. So. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Uh, this almost makes me want it. Yeah, exactly, because I could just make, like, a pyro whipper portrait, right? Yeah. I think that'd be really cool. I could make, like... Or maybe it doesn't come with that many of each, but you can, like... Like, with this set, you could add your own parts and get there. I could make my favorite album art in a Lego. Yeah, no, it seems very, very cool. I think this is, like, a lot better than what Lego art's been so far. Because there's more creativity to it. Huh, that's really interesting, honestly. Yeah. Um, uh, the no. base designs that they show in the, the thing, I'm not that interested in at all, but the potential for creativity and just making your own design seems really cool to me. Agreed. No, that's cooler than I thought it was. I was very dismissive of it at first, but um, yeah. I it back. Yeah, no, it's... I guess I, do, I would need to see the piece count. It's got 4,000 pieces, so no, I don't think it has enough in every color, but... Adding in your own pieces and whatnot, which I think like you should be able to do for not too expensive. You could probably use the set to make your own thing, which is mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. So, um, am I going to get it? Probably still no, but is it cool? Yes. Any other thoughts, Matthew? No, I really don't have much else. It's cooler than I thought it was when I first heard about it, but like, <laughs> I don't really have much to say. Um. Yeah, me neither. Also this week, um, Lego finally released the Seabound trailer. You guys excited for that season, Jaga, that none of us have seen when, yet? When Seabound drop in, though? <laughs> I know it's old news at this point, but man, Lego needs to get crap together with the whole Ninjaga release. Like, that, it's ridiculous. Like, it, the show aired, like, seven months ago at this point, legitimately. Yeah. Like, it was March, and we're now in October. And they're posting the trailer for the season, like, oh, I bet you guys are excited for when this airs. It's like, dude, we've already seen the entire thing it's seven months not, ago. 
biggest fan, you probably could have found it. Like, it wasn't, like... No, that's the thing. It's like, everyone, like, hardcore fans and casual fans alike have seen it. Because, guess what? Parents stick iPads in their kid's hand and put them on <laughs> YouTube. And this thing was all over YouTube. Yeah. Like, Lego doesn't try too hard to take them down, either. Like, they do could take it down eventually, but... Yep, that's that's about all I have to say on the Seabound front. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen this show yet, maybe this means it's airing soon. It also didn't come with a release date, so who knows? Yeah, it's a... Tr- like, a, I don't know. Lego, come on. Come on. Really? It's, it's, car- it's more Cartoon Network than Lego, but Lego yeah. has to cut their deal with Cartoon Network so this doesn't become an issue. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and it's... it's it, Like, it does it to itself because they don't air it because it doesn't get views, but it doesn't get views because they don't air it. Because... Nobody wants to watch something that came out seven months ago and everyone already saw I mean, some people are going to watch it, but anyone who actually cares has already seen it. Yeah. So, I mean, like, if you want this thing to actually get views, air it in a timely manner, and I guarantee the ratings will be much higher. Yeah, no, if they aired it, like, on Cartoon Network first, it would probably do really well. Yeah, no, for sure. Maybe not as well as some of Cartoon Network's other shows, but it would get the ratings it needs to, like, be aired in a timely manner. But when yeah. it gets zero views, it's because all the views went to YouTube. If you compile all those YouTube views, I guarantee that would be getting more views than Teen Titans Go. Mm-hmm. No, definitely. I mean, I don't know about that, but, like, it would be doing well. Yeah. Uh, and then another thing that happened this week is this weird, weird Lego Seinfeld promo. Yeah, what's the deal with that? So I'm not going to play the video because it's from Netflix and I don't want a copyright strike. Um, but Lego, so Seinfeld came to Netflix over the weekend. Yeah. And as a promotion for um, Seinfeld coming to Netflix, they had Jerry Seinfeld dress up like a Lego minifigure. How did and I... do some skit. I didn't see that part. Oh, you didn't see that part? No. Oh, oh, you missed the best part. Yeah, that's where all this came from. I only saw, Jerry Seinfeld dressed like a Lego minifigure. I only saw what looks like it could be a play bag. Yeah, yeah, so that's what people care about. But no, it came from a promo where uh, Jerry... Here, I'm just going to click through it for everybody. That looks hilarious. Yeah, Jerry Seinfeld's dressed like Lego Jerry Seinfeld. Wow. He drinks his... He eats his Lego cereal. He walks around. I'm not going to watch the whole video right now, but that is very funny looking. Brian Cranston's in it. Um... And then at the end of the video, they show the Seinfeld set, which we all know about, and then they push this little uh, dentist office bill to the side. And this was not a part of the set, so now it's led to the question, is this a real set, or is this just something they made up here? Is this going to be a poly bag, a gift with Is it going to be a Comic-Con? Is Comic-Con happening, or has it happened? It, it has happened this year, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be one next year. They um, weren't a lot this far in advance. Yeah, I don't know what it is. So, question, is that torso an existing piece? I don't know. Let me look. I don't recognize it, but it could be from, like, Jurassic World. I don't recognize it either. Um. But if I were going to say anything, I'd say Jurassic World also. Yeah. So, if those are all existing parts, I'd lean on the side of no, it's not real. So also, some more context is Brian Cranston uh, narrated this promo, and he plays this dentist character in Seinfeld, so it is regardless if it's a real set or not, it's an homage to the fact that he's narrating this trailer. Mm-hmm. Um, now, they could be releasing a promotional set because it was him, or it could just be a joke in the trailer, I'm not sure, but very strange that they put that in there. I kind I mean, of feel like it is something. I... I'm kind of going the other way. I feel like it isn't. Really? I just don't know. Because, like, the way they do it in the trailer is just, like, they just sort of slide it in at the end. I just don't know. I, don't, I just don't get the point of that. Like, why if this isn't going to be a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I really want it to be a thing so we can have an official Lego Brian Cranston because he was Walter White in Breaking Bad, and I think that would be very funny to have him in Lego. Yeah, I agree. Especially because we now, because of the Mandalorian, we already have uh, Giancarlo Esposito oh, yeah. in Lego. Yeah. So we'll be really one good. step closer to getting the full Breaking Bad cast in Lego form. Can we get um Jesse in Lego form? Yeah. Has he? I feel like he. I know he voice acts a little bit. Like he was in Bojack. What's the actor's name? Uh. Uh. Oh my goodness! What's the actor? Uh. 
It is Aaron Paul. Yeah. He, he was in uh, an episode of The Simpsons as Jesse Pinkman. Okay, but I, that doesn't mean he's in like. <laughs> um, he was in the Weird Al Yankovic story. Oh, I remember when they made Lego sets of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> he was in Mission Impossible Three. We that... have gotten a single Mission Impossible set, right? Yeah. So. What? Yeah, no, we haven't. Uh, we've not gotten anything with him, but I don't feel like it's out of the question to get him in the future. Yeah. Because also everyone becomes a Marvel actor one day, so. That's very true. <laughs> they're just gonna he um, they're just gonna turn him into like a buff superhero like they did with Chris Pratt and Kumail Nanjiani. Because both of them were just like funny comedians, and now they're they got buff for Marvel. Is uh, Kumail Nanjiani the in Eternals? Yeah, he's in he's in Eternals. Did he get buff? Uh, or... Yeah, a few months ago, photos went viral of him just completely shredded. Because he was getting buffed for Eternals. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Which is kind of, but I mean, the same thing happened to Chris, Chris Pratt. I mean, I like, want to, I want to get buffed for Marvel. You should. Listen, just become an actor. Like literally, I we're literally at a point with Marvel where I feel like every every actor who wants to be in it will be in it at some point as some character. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, like Almost like a list actors. There's so many other actors that just like don't go in movies because. It's, it's right, but anyone who has had a, a starring role in any other movie, like any wide release movie, I feel like will get into Marvel at some point. As some character. Maybe not as a main hero, maybe only be from one movie, but like as a hero or a villain or something. I feel like if I wanted to get into some like mainline movie franchise, I'd have way better luck getting into Star Wars because they cast a, like a lot more lower level actors. Right, no. Star Wars casts no names and Marvel casts names. So yep. if you have a name, you and if you have a name and you want to get into Marvel, you're going to get there at some point. Oh, so no, I'll, I'll like, start with Star Wars. I'll, I'll go be in Star Wars, and then I'll go in Marvel. No, exactly. In a couple of years, uh, John, Boyega, John Boyega and da- Daisy Ridley are going to be Marvel characters. I don't know about that. <laughs> Dude, I don't, even, I don't even think Daisy Ridley's like acting in anything. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel John Boyega probably will be in marvel at some point though yes i could see john boyega be okay wait but what if he what if he does something dc has he done something dc it doesn't matter dude most dc actors have done marvel like no, none of like the main superheroes but like all lots of the side characters all are double up like dc feels like the mega blocks to lego <laughs> it does no it does like straight up like in terms of their movies at least like obviously comics so who cares about comics but um yeah if you're in comics character, you're nerd. <laughs> uh, characters or whatnot like dc's got lots of good stuff but in terms of movies like yeah they, they got a lot of stinkers they got like, some good like there there is some gems there but it's just such a mess D, dc never d- would not get me excited for a movie like shang chi like marvel did like yeah i Another thing I find very funny is Marvel is not letting DC breathe. Like, anytime DC has, like, a kind of creative or unique concept, Marvel just comes in and does it better. What's an example of that? Well, like, when Batman v Superman was announced for years, and then Marvel came out with Civil War, like, they announced it, like, way later, but it came out, like, a month before Batman v Superman, and then it was way better. Yeah. Okay, Um, here's what I will say. It's not marvel's fault that the dc version was bad and no 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 not at all but like i like i don't know the, the concept of superhero versus superhero i feel like is something that hasn't really been done too much on the big screen before but I, it was not a coincidence that civil war came out the same exact year like no it was definitely intentional and batman v superman was known for years and then again it's happening with the um we're getting the flash movie that's going to involve two versions of batman and oh, spider-man's releasing like right before it yeah, and the Spider-Man one's gonna be so much better. No, for sure. <laughs> I hope I do hope the Flash one the Flash movie's good because that would be very cool. I agree, uh, but the Spider-Man one is gonna be so much better. Oh, one hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited for that movie. Yeah. Anyway, what was our point with all that? I don't um, know. We don't have a ton to talk about today, so I don't mind but Yeah, we we got through all the Lego news. It was Seinfeld. Um We we both got our uh, October first stuff. 
yes, we did do a live stream building it, but if you guys missed that, we'll talk about it a bit here. Um, we have also all, we built all of our stuff since then. Yeah, I, um, I did just get a set today that I've not finished building, but... Yeah, I, uh, I'll have reviews going up of all my stuff soon. I have two up now, and there'll be more up this week. Um, but I got the, I, I guess you guys go watch my unboxing, but I got the three Spider-Man sets, the smallest Eternal set, and the Tumblr from Batman. Yeah. And Santa's sleigh. Um, I think Santa's, I don't know, like, hmm. trying to rank them. They're you all very different. This one. What? You cannot say Santa Slay is the worst set. No, no, I was tempted to say it was my favorite. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, that set is a complete banger. Like, No, I think that one and the Tumblr are probably my favorite builds. Um, I agree. The Spider-Man set builds all kind of stink. I don't really like... I, I honestly don't even think I'm going to keep together the Sanctum Sanctorum. because The I have Sanctum a... Sanctorum has tons of amazing parts, but the build itself is kind so of... So my plan for that set is I have my, like, custom... um My custom modular Sanctum Sanctorum, and when I get that out of storage, which should be this weekend, I kind of want to build this Sanctum Sanctorum into that one. That's smart. I, uh, I posted my review of it today, and I saw... Somebody in the comments said they're going to use that set to make a custom Rick's Garage from Rick and Morty. I guess it would work. Because you have, like, the shelves and the tool yeah. bench, and <laughs> I found that very funny. I... Yeah, no, I'm probably not keeping it together, because it's a really ugly set. It has so many parts that I love, and I yep. think when I was, like, eight years old, I would have played with this set for hours. But yep. at the age I am now, I it's just there's not enough there for me to display it. Agreed, and it's got some of the best minifigures. Oh, like, no, no, the minifigures are fantastic. The, the minifigures in all three sets are fantastic, but... Like this guy is incredible. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but you can take the cape off without taking his Oh, yeah, off. no, I'm fully aware, and I do that all the time. Like, yeah, no, that's so cool. Um, It just comes off, and this piece is incredible. Like, Yeah, no, it's really cool. I almost want more capes like this. Yes, it's less playable, but it looks so much better. Yeah, for sure. Like, because I, after, like, a couple weeks, I really don't touch minifigures anymore. And just, like, being able to have him stand on the shelf with, like, a dynamic pose. And, like, he can still sit down perfectly. Yeah. So. Uh, speaking really... of capes, I, uh, I, that reminds me, I was about to mention, I hate one whole capes so, so much. Why? Like, the Batman in the, the, the new Batman, the one whole cape, like, it's so bad. I, I don't think it's so bad. I just it, but I, the two whole cape is, cape is just so much better. So I don't yeah. get why they keep going with this. Like, um, I don't know. It's just it's silly. It does not look as good in it. Like if you push it down, you can get it to stay down. But by default, it'll just sort of point out, and there's no force like holding it down. I don't know what the deal is with these. Uh, I do want to say though, this Batman minifigure is incredible. I just don't know. No, it is really good. Why are they using a ten year old head? Like. Yeah, I'm confused by it. I'm like, I can swear, gonna... swear they introduced a new head. When am I ever going to... They... What? I can swear they've introduced a new head. They've introduced, like, five... I didn't even know this one was still in production. Yeah, me, me neither. But I'm like, oh, I haven't bought a Batman set in a while, so... I was shocked to see that that's the head they went with, because it's, like, the worst one. But I will say, the neutral expression does work well for this version of Batman. And the... It, the, it does have a, an entirely, like, alternate head you can swap out for. Yeah. It's, that That piece is very, very cool. Here's for the viewers who may want to see that. I, you probably can't even see it that well, but yeah, it, it's cool. Um, but the the tumbler itself is like a beautiful set. It's like, one of my favorite builds of the year. It, it, I don't know. Grunt, this man is like a sandwich. I, I could I could take a grunt, take a bite out of him. I've wanted this as a minifigure scale set for like seven or eight years. So. The fact that I actually have this and it looks just as good as a UCS set is incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really great. I am like feeling a little hesitant about the UCS one now that I've had this one for a few days. Like this is really good. I, I really wish the set came with the Joker minifigure, man. I, I don't think it's out of the question we'll get a purple coat Joker minifigure at some point. Yeah, I don't I just it bothers me that that version of him has been exclusive to D two C tumblers. Like I know. I kind of wish, like, just to put make some variety, put this guy in the D2C to give us, like, a new villain. So it's not the exact same minifigure selection of the D2C and put Joker in the cheap one. Yep. Give more people a chance to get him. I, I agree. So I, I don't really care about Scarecrow. I, I don't like this minifigure that much either. No, it's just, it's a boring... 
design. It looks like he did in the movie, and it's accurate, but he's my least favorite villain of the movies, so... Yeah. He's just a guy in a suit with a hat on, like... Yeah. I don't know, I really was not buying this set for the Scarecrow, though. I was buying this set for a movie Batman figure and the Bat... Like, the yeah. third, and for that stuff, it's incredible. I mean, like, this is in scale also with speed champion sets which is really cool to me because i will definitely be displaying it with them yeah um it's just i do like i do love the amount of room in C for agreed agreed i i really i really do hope we get a couple more movie batman sets like this yeah agreed no it'd be very cool i hope they continue to go back and do more honestly it would be awesome if they just did like for the second if they did, like, the Bat Pod and the Bat Wing, it's not like the Bat Wing. It's like a flying tank, essentially. I don't know what it was called. They should make Batman's spider machine from the Snyder Cut. They made it already. Did they? Yeah. Dude, I don't, I don't remember the Justice League sets at all. Um, But something else, like, it, I think it would be cool if they did. They could literally just recolor this set into Bane's colors and release, like, a Bane mobile, which was in the movie. Yeah. Like, I, I genuinely think that would be very cool. Yeah. yeah. And quite honestly, uh, when I have all of my pieces set back up again, because I'm still in the middle of moving, I might try to use the instructions for this one and build a tan one. In... That'd be very cool. If you did, you should make a video and post it, because that would get views. Yeah, because I feel like it wouldn't be too difficult. I might buy a second just to have all the base pieces and just kind of switch out the exterior. Yeah. But I feel like that would look really cool. Yeah. But... Get this set. Like, if you like Batman, this is one of the best Batman sets ever. So, I agree. I, I love it. Um, and uh, what other? What other? Jeez, I spent so much time talking about that. Uh, I think that's most of the sets. Yeah, Eternals set is fine. I mean, it, for ten dollars, like for ten dollars, it's good. Yeah, the fact that it's a ten dollars set at all is great. I mean, we need more ten dollars sets, man. Agreed, because I mean, just, the, it's cool for ten dollars, like. It, yeah. it just looks cool. The minifigures are good. I mean, I I'm currently building the um, Eternal Pizza, <laughs> um, and I I don't know like just having a few of these creatures is is cool. Oh, I like that dog one. That's really cool. Th this one is so good looking. Is that like, from the pizza? Yeah, you get in the pizza. You get this one and this one. Okay. This one I think is like the main villain though. But nothing uh, beats the bug monster from the Spider-Man set. Oh yeah, here's him. He kind of fits in with these guys. I, I we just said that like we're probably gonna be taking apart the middle of that set. I will not be taking him apart. Oh, he's, he stays together. He stays together forever. I feel like he could be a new channel mascot. Uh yeah, I agree. <laughs> I really like him. He's very very good. Do we want to take some viewer questions? Yeah, let's let's do that. All right, so this one's definitely one we both have an answer for. Um, what do you think the new one eighth scale Technic supercar is gonna be? I don't know. <laughs> you Are know they... us, the te the Technic podcast. I don't even know what the previous ones have been. I, I don't know either. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Um, I think it's going to be a Toyota Camry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was going to be a 2003 Toyota Corolla. Okay. Come on, you didn't um, you went with Toyota too? Go with, like, Audi or something. No, I, I 2003 Toyota Corolla is a meme, and if you don't get it, you don't get it, okay? Okay, okay. It's, it, it, a 2003 Toyota Corolla is the car that the uh, Social Security scammers say that they found on the south border of Texas well, registered in your name. So here's a fun here's a fun tip for you, all you viewers. If you ever get one of those scam calls that's like, "Hi, um, you cars extend warranty, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. They ask for your car, make a model, tell you tell them you have a 2003 Toyota Corolla, and there's like a 50 percent chance they'll just hang up on you because they have run that scam previously. Because that's what I always do, and sometimes they continue with me, and sometimes they just immediately hang up because they recognize that car. <laughs> Why is it always a 2003 Toyota? Because they have what somebody wrote one script one day, and that's just the social security scam. It's they found a 2003 Toyota Corolla on the south border of Texas, filled with blood and drug residue, and it was registered in your name. 
and now uh, your accounts are being frozen, and you have to work with the Social Security Department to get it unfrozen. Okay, okay. That is the scam. And that is always the scam. <laughs> they never change the car model. They never change the where it was found. It's always, it was out there Toyota Corolla on the south border of Texas. So, in Mexico? On the south border of Texas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> south of the border of texas is mexico but well, the, on the south border, so i assume it's the border between texas and mexico, oh, okay. Okay. on the border anyway gen- moving from that here's an actual good question uh from oahu uh what influential person would you like a give a purchase set for in this style of the amelia Earhart set oh that's actually a really cool one yeah uh, i was thinking maybe like stephen hawking would be cool i that would be cool um I also think maybe the part of history where Thomas Edison um, electrocuted farm animals to prove that alternating current was bad and you shouldn't trust Nikola Tesla. That'd be really cool. (laughs) Um, Maybe not that one. (laughs) Could you imagine that as a set? (laughs) Yeah, just like Thomas Edison murdering a goat. (laughs) Honestly, if it's a way to get more goat goat minifigs, I'm down for it. (laughs) <laughs> goat minifigs are like legitimately a hundred dollars nowadays so you know what i'm yeah, down for it let's get like a 20 dollars gift with purchase set of thomas edison murdering a goat and a pig with alternating current because he wants the public to think it's a bad idea <laughs> you have an actual answer though um yes uh i think J.R. tolkien that'd like, be cool Something in the vein of uh, the Christmas Carol set. But if we're going classic, uh, something Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues Under the Seas, a good one. Um, War of the Worlds would be a cool one. So Just... you're thinking like books? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking more like the Amelia Earhart set where it's, it was just like a model. With okay, like mini um, something I think would be cool, and now that they're doing all the Pride stuff, I could see them doing Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech would be a cool one. Oh, that would be awesome. Um, Though, I don't know, I feel like there'd be some... It'd be weird to market that, right? Like they do pride stuff now. I, I, the, I don't know. It's the Martin Luther King Jr. name. It, it, it would be like if the Fortnite crossover was like charging you money for Martin Luther King skin. And obviously, Lego can't give stuff. I guess as a gift would purchase, maybe, but having the price limit, it'd be like I don't know. It feels like incentivizing, like a. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I agree that it would be cool, but I don't know the right way of distributing that to make it not seem like you're profiting off of. So, I don't know. Okay, so I want to – let's rule that out. I want to take away – well, I, okay, I, it's not – why is the Amelia Earhart one okay then? What? I mean, she wasn't like a civil rights activist. I feel like Amelia Earhart is very different from – maybe if they like – they said like, hey – Spend this much, you get this set, and so much of your purchase goes to like char- a, a charity yeah. for like civil rights or whatever. I think maybe that would be a good way to get go about it. Yeah, because I agree, it would be a cool set. I just feel like if they just said, "Hey, spend a hundred dollars, get Martin Luther King Jr.," then it might be like, eh. So okay, if we're talking non-controversial, uh, not right, that would be like. Right I think it would be cool. Um, what'd you say? Wright Brothers would be cool. Oh, yeah, no. Actually, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It'd be very similar to the Amelia Earhart, but that, yeah. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, a lot of, like, innovation... Uh, I mean, a Ford car would be cool. Yeah. The first yeah. McDonald's and the guy who made it. Uh, I don't think so. I want... <laughs> I want a set of Marcus Zuckerberg and a giant Facebook logo. <laughs> And an Instagram logo and a WhatsApp logo. And, uh, yeah, and an Oculus logo. Yeah. That happened this week. Yeah. Facebook went down. And then verified accounts on Twitter would be like, Facebook was deleted. And then it was actually Facebook's routing was deleted and very easily fixed. Yeah. So. I wish verified accounts, guys. I wish Facebook was actually deleted. I, I do I wish Facebook was deleted, but the Instagram servers were fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um I, <laughs> that was so funny, man. Um 
But yeah, no, I don't. Ha- I would really need to think about what would be cool, like historical. Yeah, no, I, I would have to think about it too. But I think there's. I would like to see. I well, we have one rumored right now, right? The, the the. I remember Just Too Good had a really funny thumbnail, where he was like, "What?" And it was just like a picture of like an old woman. <laughs> I forget who it was though. I don't know. I'm gonna go Just Too Good's channel. Okay, I don't know. Um. He's in love with Just Too Good, by the way. I just found it very funny, like, how intense his reaction was. Jane Goodall is apparently getting... Oh, yeah, no, that... Yeah, I have heard about that. That's a good one, I think. Um, yeah. No, that that, that is a good one, but... I mean, come on. Come on, guy. Like, I just need... I need to show this for... Th- this thumbnail is just very... Very funny to me. Where... Where is it? This thumbnail is very funny to me, because it's just, like... <laughs> Why is it... He's got such an intense expression on for Jane Goodall. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, okay, so. Like, this is the reaction I see in, like, a, like, a Smash Bros. reveal trailer when he's making that face to Jane Goodall. <laughs> it's kind of dubious to do things like this because there are so many people who were also terrible. Yeah. In history, like. But the, people who did great things but also had bad sides to them. Yes, or people who did great things but also were, like, atrocious. Yeah. Or, like, are widely thought to be great but also were really bad. Like, yeah. There are a lot of... It, most people in history are like that. And, I mean, people like Jane Goodall are very uncontroversial. So, like, there aren't a ton of those kinds of people. Uh, um, Mr. Rogers would be a really awesome one. That, that would be cool. Uh... I they do, like, Lincoln, like a... I know we've had the Lego movie CMF, but maybe, like, a more proper set for him, like, give him... Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what you'd build for Lincoln, but... We should get a Lego set for every president. Every... <laughs> Unironically, that'd be kind of cool if they made a set that's, like, Hall of Presidents, uh, where they just... You want a James... Not, not a se- you want what? a James Madison minifigure? <laughs> yeah. You want a... Not a separate set, but one set that was just like, hey, here's all the presidents. Like, Want a Woodrow Wilson <laughs> minifigure? Uh, it would probably be a lot of cool new face prints. It would probably be... They could they could reuse the same face print like 13 times. We, should get, <laughs> we should get a president set, but everybody just uses the 2012 Bruce Wayne face. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like 30 of the same minifigure. Yeah, that's true. They all do look the same. Like, the the standout ones, I mean, Teddy Roosevelt, that would be a cool minifigure. Yeah. Maybe just, like, a, a good president set. Well, then that's political. Right, that's true. Okay. Like, respected president? I don't... You're Again. right. There's, like, everyone has, like, things about them. Like, eh. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. And I do... Anyway. I would like to see more of these sets, and I think... Yes. There's a lot of good ideas to be had, it's just I don't have them. Yep. Alright, Matthew, what do you think of the Smash Bros. characters as a whole? I don't care. <laughs> I'm the Smash fan of the two of us. Um, Didn't care about the final reveal, but it was literally the most requested character from the fighter pass ballot. So I'm not going to be angry about it either. I saw some people like super excited that it was coming. So yeah, no, so I'm, I'm happy for them. My, my roommate was very excited for him. Mm -hmm. Um, I think master chief is desperately missing. I'm not even a halo fan, but I feel like he is like the one gaming icon that is like the most prevalent gaming icon. That's not represented in smash at all. Like everyone else at least has a me costume, but they should have just did not reference master chief at all. Sadly. We got Doom Guy in the final direct as the me costume. How do you put Doom Guy in and not Master Chief? Exactly. I don't get it. My only guess is maybe Microsoft doesn't want him in. That yeah, no, that's definitely a possibility because that is like their mascot character. Right. But I, I don't see why you I mean, I guess I don't I, I feel like it'd be just beneficial to have him in the game. Like it's Whatever. And the, and Microsoft like Microsoft licensed Steve, Banjo, Cuphead, and Doom Guy because they have the rights for all of those, but not Master Chief. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm I'm happy overall. Steve was my most wanted realistic character, and we did not get the Bloons Tower Defense Super Monkey, unfortunately. Did, did um, you think he would? 
I did not think we would, but I made a list of like my like never gonna happen but would be really cool picks. Okay. Was one. It was him, um, Lord Vortex from Lego Dimensions. I didn't think that would happen. No, that would never happen, but it would be really cool if it did. Yes. Um Crazy Dave from Plants vs. Zombies. I I've never played those games. I've never played those games. He, he's just like the NPC he's like the tutorial NPC. And I think it'd be cool to have him and then like you could plant different plants throughout the map and have him have him attack. I think that would be cool. And then yeah. grow by Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Those four are like my like never gonna happen, but would be my dream. Um, I but have... Steve Steve was my most realistic like one and my most what my most wanted realistic choice, and he got in, so I'm happy. I have no characters that I would want in Smash because I don't really play it. So yeah, I think you would want Master Chief in though, right? Like yes, but also. He's in Fortnite, so I'm happy. <laughs> That's true. He, wait, yeah, he's in Fortnite. Yeah, so I don't think it, I don't think it was Microsoft because he's in Fortnite. And you can play that on any console. Like, it's not like he was a Xbox only skin. I don't you can know play that on PC or yeah. Switch. Well, we can play Halo on mobile and Switch to, uh, and and, uh, and not Switch, uh, mobile and PC too. Okay, yeah, but I mean, you can't you can't play it on Switch or PS4, and you can play as Master Chief in Fortnite on Switch or PS4. That is true. Oh. Next question. I think we got room for one more. Okay. Um. Uh. We don't really have any good ones, so I think we're just gonna end it here. Okay. Shorter episode this week, but that's okay. Um, maybe there'll be more Lego news next week, or maybe there won't because we're in the Lego dry season now, and we're probably not gonna get much till um. Uh, January. But, no, November we'll get pictures yeah November we'll get pictures but if you want to hear us talk about more in next week's episode go leave a comment on next week's community tab post which I will post the day of on, or I'll post it on Tuesday stay tuned for that uh, thanks for watching everybody if you enjoyed press like subscribe if you're new we do these every Wednesday for since they were Wednesday except next week why except next week oh uh, I don't know okay stay tuned bye 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 bye